This right here is the brand new DJI Action 4 and in today's video I'm going to be putting this thing to the test finding out is this the best FPV camera. I'm also going to be comparing the Action 4 to the ever popular GoPro 11 and we're going to be finding out in this video is the image quality any better from the Action 4 and could it be a GoPro 12 killer. Comparing the Action 4 to the GoPro 11, on paper, the Action 4 has much better video specs, boasting a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor compared to a 1 over 1.9 inch sensor with the GoPro 11. The Action 4 has a larger sensor and as such will perform better in low light. Another new feature of the Action 4 is the addition of 10-bit D-Log-M recording. This is the exact same camera and sensor that's in the Mini 3 Pro and the brand new DJI Air 3. So we're getting some pretty good image quality in the Action 4. Right, so we're down here at Ballantoy Harbour and we're going to be testing out the Action 4 side by side with the GoPro 11. I don't actually have a full size GoPro 11 with me as my last one just ended up in the sea. So I have the naked GoPro 11 here, but it's the exact same camera, exact same specs. So we're going to be flying it on side by side on the 9 inch Get Bar C Pulsar 9, which will let you see a side by side comparison of the two cameras and let you decide which one you think is better. So in terms of the specs, the cameras are both shooting 4K, 4x3 in 50 frames per second, as I'm going to be slowing the footage down over the waves behind me here. So you're going to be able to see exactly what it looks like between each camera, and we're going to be experimenting with a load of different settings, so you can basically see a comparison of both. So the GoPro 11 is shooting in the flat color profile, and the Action 4 is in D-Log M. They're both shooting in 10-bit color. So let's get this big guy up in the air and go for some footage. Okay, so here we have it, the first flight of the Action 4 and GoPro 11 side by side. They're on the same drone doing the same flight paths. This is probably the best you're going to get in terms of a side by side comparison. But straight off the bat here, what you can notice probably between the two cameras is of course the different colors. They do process color differently. But what I will say is that both cameras are running third party ND filters in this footage. The GoPro 11 has Mavic 2 zoom filters for it as a, as a naked GoPro and the Action 4 is running a TBS filter with a custom 3D printed mount because at the time I did not have official DJI ND filters for it. So when looking at the footage here I wouldn't compare the two in terms of colour but what I can confirm is that both cameras are set to the same white balance both at 5500 and they both have the same exposure settings so they should be fairly comparable in that regard. The Action 4 footage does however look a little bit colder but what I will say is that this is most likely down to the TBS ND filter that definitely does have quite a significant colour shift of it. So again I wouldn't draw any conclusions around the colour of the cameras from this first light as I do feel that the Action 4's TBS ND filter was hindering its performance. Right, so we're back out in the field doing some more tests and with the Action 4 and GoPro 11. What I'm going to do in this test is I'm not going to be running any ND filters on the cameras. I'm just going to run my shutter on auto to compensate for the light. That way we're going to be able to see a direct comparison from both cameras where there is no third party glass in between the camera and the sensor. Then we'll hopefully be able to get a good representation of how the cameras look in terms of colour. Okay, so this is our first colour comparison flight. I have the Action 4 shooting in D-Log, so we're going to do a quick Rec 709 transformation, followed by a contrast adjustment to the GoPro 11's footage to get both of the shots looking a bit closer to life in terms of contrast. But straight away, when you compare both cameras, you can see that they definitely process colour differently. What I will say is my personal opinion, I do prefer the blue hues of the Action 4. I feel like they're truer to life in terms of what an actual blue sky looks like. The GoPro 11 does of course capture it as well, but I feel like there's a bit of a magenta hue towards the sky. When we look down towards the foreground, we can see that the Action 4 definitely has more of a colder green hue. But I feel like the footage from the GoPro 11 is definitely a slightly warmer overall. Um, whereas the Action 4 is definitely a little colder. But in saying that, it's a very easy fix to get the Action 4 looking like the GoPro 11. If we simply adjust the RGB curves here and pump a little bit of red into the midtones, we can see that we get the GoPro looking green tree color with the natural looking sky from the Action 4. And I feel like this is the perfect image as the Action 4 definitely has a more natural looking sky. However, adjustments like this are very minor and really are only applicable if you're shooting with out of camera color, as both cameras can be adjusted to look pretty much the same with color grading. Okay, so we're headed to our next spot to do our first sunset flight of the two cameras. I'm going to be flying at a place called Gibbs Island, which is actually where I go flying quite a lot of times myself. And as you can see, it's a very scenic location with plenty of different color hues to be able to test. I'm going to be again flying the two cameras side by side on my 7 inch this time, and both cameras are going to be run with no ND filter. 
allowing you to see a raw footage comparison between both cameras with no ND filters in between that could be potentially causing a bit of color cast. So this site will be a good example of both cameras performance in terms of sunset colors and dynamic range and highlight roll off. As you can see here, looking between the two, they look great right up until you look towards the sky. And when you look towards the sky, you can see that the Action 4 definitely has a much cleaner highlight roll off compared to the GoPro 11. The GoPro 11 almost looks like 8-bit footage to the point where the halo around the sun is really quite noticeable and the roll off to the rest of the sky when you scale it up here is really not as clean as the Action 4. I kind of feel like the Action 4 is much more clean here in terms of this highlight roll off to the rest of the sky. However, when we take a look at an individual frame here, you see the results get quite interesting. It almost looks like the GoPro 11 here is actually retaining more information in the highlights compared to the Action 4. And this is quite interesting as on paper the Action 4 should perform better in terms of dynamic range. It has a larger sensor and 10 bit log recording so it should have more information in the likes of the highlights. I was wondering is this down to the fact that the cameras are both on some level of auto exposure. The shutter was set to auto but I had set the EV minus a third of a stop so in theory they should both be exposing the same. I mean they're both on the same drone flying in the same direction pointed at the same angle so they both should be exposing the shot fairly similarly. So I can't think of any other way to test it that could prove this wrong. However when we continue playing back the footage as normal here without pixel peeping it you can see that the colors between both cameras are pretty good. Though one thing you may notice is when we start to approach the trees here you may be thinking it's looking like the Action 4 isn't retaining as much detail in the shadows here of the trees but the thing to remember is that this footage is the log transformed footage. When we flick back over to D-Log you can see here that all that info in the shadows is there. It's just when you transform back over to Rec Scepter then you then need to play about with that image to access that information. But once we get past here and come up towards the view you can see here that both shots look absolutely brilliant in terms of colour. I have absolutely zero complaints of both the Action 4 and the GoPro 11. They both look really good. However if I was to start picking them apart I would say that the GoPro 11 does look slightly green in the image. There's definitely like an overall sort of green hue to the image. However when we start to fly back down towards the water here you can see here that both shots are looking great. I can't really tell any difference between them. They're pretty much identical and um, they've obviously got no motion blur because there's no ND filter. When we start to go towards the water here you maybe see a slight difference between the two. This right here is the Action 4 scaled up and right here is the GoPro 11 and as you can see you can definitely see that green hue in the image much more noticeably there in the GoPro 11's footage compared to the Action 4. The Action 4 looks slightly more natural there but to be honest overall this is very very minor stuff and most people are not going to tell the difference between the two. So the sun has just set and we're going to be doing some low light comparisons between both cameras and seeing which one performs better. I have it here on my 3.5 inch city whoop and what I'm going to be doing is flying it in the forest behind me and we're going to be doing some low light comparisons between both. Now I'm predicting that the Action 4 will have a cleaner image with its larger sensor but I guess there's only one way to find out. So I'm going to set up the drone now, city whip it around the forest and we'll take a look at the results. Okay so this is low light test one, we have both of our cameras set to their highest resolution so the Action 4 is at 4k 25 frames per second and the GoPro 11 is at 5.3k 8x7 in 25 frames per second. I've set both cameras to have an ISO range of between 100 and 1600 and the shutter is locked at 1 over 50 and both white balances are set to 6000 Kelvin. So we're going to send it through the forest here and see who has the cleaner image. So as you can see this is a bit of an extreme test with regards to low light. Um, both cameras aren't going to look great but what you will notice here is that the Action 4 is significantly better than the GoPro 11 because when we take a look at the GoPro 11 right here you can see here there's straight away there's just noise artifacts and the camera is really struggling to actually capture any sort of information in the shadows at all. It's a bit of a noisy mess and it does not look great. As you can see here side by side there's really no comparison. Even though both images aren't great the Action 4 is significantly better so overall it has much better low light performance. Okay, so the question on everyone's mind, should you buy the brand new Action 4 or should you just stick with your GoPro? Well, I think to be honest, it's gonna come down to a number of factors. One of which I'm gonna compare is functionality. And I think from a functionality point of view, the Action 4 absolutely wins hands down. Features such as the magnetic mounting system is an absolute game changer for FPV, particularly when you're moving your camera between quads. With GoPros, you're gonna to have to unscrew the thumb screw each time. And that can be quite frustrating, especially when you're on the go, trying to get a shot quickly. Say you pull up at a spot, the light's looking absolutely perfect. You've only a few minutes left to capture your shot and your GoPro on the wrong quad. You have to go through the process of unscrewing the screw, sometimes having to get your tools out because it's on too tight, and then getting it onto the other quad, screwing it back in again, make sure it's in tight. Whereas with the Action 4, you quite literally just unclip it from the first drone and clip it onto the next drone, and you're up flying, ready to go in a matter of seconds. Another appealing feature of the Action 4 is the fact that you can adjust the settings of the camera on the front touchscreen, and that is really handy for a number of situations. One of which is when you've got a big battery on your top plate of your drone, and it's pushing right up against the back of the camera screen to the point where you're not actually able to touch it and adjust the settings. On the GoPro, your only option would be to pull out the phone, connect to the camera via Wi-Fi, and adjust the settings there. However, with the Action 4, you quite literally just use the camera as normal using the smaller 
front touchscreen, which is much more handy when you're in the field. The Action 4 is also slightly lighter and smaller than the GoPro 12. And from a UI point of view, the Action 4 is much quicker to respond with a much faster boot up time compared to the GoPro 12. However, when we move on to image quality, the comparison starts to get a bit more tricky and we start to border onto personal preference in terms of which one is better than the other. Both cameras are capable of producing some fantastic looking images, especially when you give them the right lighting and control your exposure correctly. However, comparing things like color is really a subjective matter. As I showed earlier in the video, I personally preferred the blue hues of the Action 4. I felt like sea and sky color looked more natural with the Action 4, and the GoPro definitely had a bit of a magenta hint in the blues. However, the Action 4 definitely had a much colder looking image overall. I felt like the greens looked a lot colder with the Action 4, compared to the GoPro 11's warmer image actually sort of helped it, particularly with green hues. But again, these are very minor differences, and both cameras are capable of shooting 10-bit log footage, meaning you have plenty of latitude in terms of color information to be able to shift these colors around and get the perfect looking image in your own eyes anyway. There is however some situations where one camera is significantly better than the other, the main of which being low light. The Action 4 is significantly better in low light than the GoPro 11 and 12. And this is really good for the likes of FPV fly-throughs where you're flying through lots of different areas in bright and dark environments and you're wanting that best low light performance with minimal noise. I say in situations like that, the Action 4 is much better when it comes to low light. However, the downside of the Action 4 is that you can only run it in its full size form. GoPros offer the ability to be stripped down using naked GoPro kits from the likes of Get RC, Nameless RC and so on. And this allows you to take the image quality and performance of the GoPro and strip it down to a really small form factor, allowing you to mount it on much smaller drones for the likes of fly throughs, the likes of 2.5 inch cine whoops and even smaller. And this is one of the shortfalls of the Action 4. Because it can only be run in its full size form, you're limited in terms of what size of drones you can put it on, particularly for the likes of fly throughs. You could put this on a 2.5 inch drone, but it's not gonna fly for very long and the flight performance is gonna be pretty naff. And although the GoPro doesn't perform as good in low light, you are able to get it onto a much smaller drone. So the likes of fly throughs and even things like concerts where legally you have to fly a much smaller drone, because of the weight, the GoPro is ultimately going to be a better option because you can get it into a much smaller form factor and onto a much smaller drone. However, if you're willing to give up that weight and size, you can run the Action 4 on the likes of a 3 inch or even a 3.5 inch cine whip. Then you can get your indoor fly through shots with the best quality image in terms of low light performance. As I said earlier, color is definitely a subjective one. An interesting thing I've heard from other YouTubers who have used the Action 4 is that they find that the Action 4 is much more comparable and blends much better with their higher quality mirrorless camera footage compared to the GoPro. A lot of YouTubers have said that when they cut to the GoPro, footage, the action camera look is really quite apparent and the vibrant and almost oversaturated colors of the GoPro is not as desirable as the Action 4 and they've said the Action 4 definitely produces a much natural looking image in terms of blending much better with their high quality cameras. But the other side of it is a lot of us FPV pilots are used to the bright vibrant colors you get from the GoPro and that typical cinematic FPV GoPro look is really quite apparent and desirable from a lot of pilots. So coming to the Action 4 it will be a bit of a change if you're used to the bright vibrant colors of the GoPro. However, some pilots might prefer this. I do know a lot of people who complain about GoPros. They say that they're oversaturated and the colors are not accurate and true to life. If that's the case, the Action 4 is definitely the camera for you. If you're somebody who likes to match your action camera footage with footage from say your Mavics, particularly the DJI Mini 3 or Mavic 3, then I would say the Action 4 is definitely a better bet there. The footage looks very similar to the Mini 3 Pro and the DJI Air 3. And as such, if you're blending that footage together, it definitely makes more sense to go for the Action 4 because you're getting that uniform DJI color sense between all of your footage and you're maybe saving yourself less editing work in terms of blending your GoPro footage with the likes of Mavic footage or even higher quality camera footage. So if you can draw any conclusion from this, it shows you that it's really gonna come down to personal preference. Whether you prefer the bright, vibrant colors of the GoPro 12 or the potentially more color accurate colors from the Action 4 that blends better with your DJI Mini and Mavic footage, you really have to make the call yourself in terms of what you think is gonna be a better option for you. I personally like them both. I take them both with me when I'm out flying and I don't really have a preference in terms of which one I grab. I normally just grab whichever one's on the drone or whichever one is going to be able to be mounted quickly, which most of the time is the Action 4 if I have a camera mount already on the drone. But if I don't, I have no preference in terms of which one I lift. They both can produce some fantastic results and you're not going to be disappointed with whichever one you buy. So there you have it. There is my full review of the brand new DJI Action 4. If you find this video helpful, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And if this video helped you make a buying decision, let me know what you went for down in the comments. Did you go for the Action 4 or did you go for a GoPro? I'd love to know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.